Hey guys, so this time we're going to change a little thing in what we were doing. We still have pending, in case you're interested, the angular testing, which I will try to record in the upcoming days. But since that is only for angular, I just wanted to do something different. So right now I have this view application, which is using Firebase. Okay. So, you can see it's similar to the applications we created before with other uh, technologies such as React and Angular. So, let's see, let's select this one and you can see we can um, read the title and the description. We have this um, some things aren't even finished but you know, those are just styling stuff so I'm not going to bother with that. Um, most of the things, of the important things, which is the crude and um, the behavior is already done. So um, let me just choose a new file. It opens on my other screen. Okay, and let's select this one, open and update post. It's going to take a bit. Okay, with, I don't have a loader or anything there. Um, and this is going to be kind of... Um, just to demonstrate what you can do and if you feel comfortable then you can just add because let me just open this F12 and okay let me just do this again check post and even you can see it's kind of responsive yeah but if I go here it, everything breaks okay so that's just the styling so it's not a big deal so let's select um, this one, why not? And you can see this is scale, kinda. So we can change whatever we want here, but let's actually change, change, sorry, the file. So all this is being stored in um, Firebase. So you know that every time we do something with a new um, technology, we use Firebase just because it's simpler. So I found. Out I found this one, let's open and um, not delete post but update post and you can see we have this 0100 which is the actual um, upload process okay so everything is there it's just uh, I think it's just ready to be connected it's just standing um, sitting there but um, you know I will let you know how you can uh, add a spinner or anything or we can do that later if you want okay you can just uh, send me a message and if you want me to deal with all the things that are kind of missing but it's just user interface you know user experience sorry and a few things I can do that later okay right now I'm kind of busy with work and all that I have a few days off so I decided to start with something else but enough talking and um, we can also create a new one. I didn't create a new one. Let's say whatever we want. Okay, we don't have any um, validation here, so we are just going to deal with um, files and everything when it comes to integrate Vue.js with Firebase, and of course all the templating and all the things that we need to be aware when working with this um, technology. So let me just find one freaking image this one you just have a ton of crap and you can see it's 0 to 100 and this is where it is being stored okay and you can see we have a new one which is this one okay so let's close that and what we could do now is just give me a second Okay, let me just move this out of the way. I have that compiled, so let me just go to view CLI. Okay, just to deal with what we're going to do. So I am back here. We need to install, or you will need to install. Uh, of course, you need a Node.js installed, but you will need to install a, the view CLI. I hope you can see that. If not, go to cli.vuejs.org and you will find this okay so you will need to install this in order to follow along with the cli 
So to create a project, we say view create project. So let's just okay cancel that and let's just create a new folder, which is going to be um, rename my uh, first view. Let's say something like that, just to have that there. So I'm going to open my terminal, which this one comes with a um, Laragon. Okay. So if you don't have that, open your command prompt, your terminal from Mac or um, your Git bash, if you have that or whatever. And remember that we already have installed the CLI, the view CLI. So go ahead and do that. So we will say, okay, what do they say here? Create view, create and the name of the project. Let's say view create and a view a my view app. Does that work? Okay, let's give it a second. Okay, it's kind of it's kind of late. So um, usually um, after some time working, it takes a little bit to run. So let's uh, give it a second. And we will need to create, so let me just move this out of, out of the way. Oh, yeah, let's just build it, okay? I am on my um, Firebase, so let's go with this together. So I need to add a new project, okay? They added that animation, nice. Is this thing working or not? Okay, let's, let's leave that there. So... Um, okay, a name for my project, let's say view Firebase YouTube. So I just want to check this one. Okay, so please pick a preset. Let's say Babel and ESLint, which is a pain actually, but we will deal with that. So let's wait for that to be done. And meanwhile, let's keep working with this I just wanted to check that it was working because um, since we're going to build I mean create the project in Firebase right now then I didn't want to delete that in case it wasn't working so let's say continue your analytics I don't need this create project so this one is that it's going to take a little bit so there's no point of cutting because it's just going to uh, take a few more seconds Okay, so after all this is done, then we will have the view application. So let's take a look at our, uh, this is my view app. Okay, it's creating that inside my first view. Well, kind of messed that up, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so the project is ready. So this shouldn't be in Spanish, but I'm not sure why it's in Spanish, but we will um, go through this. So, okay, everything is set. So let's just go to database, create a new instance of the um, Cloud Firestore, create that base and a test mode just for this one. Okay, anyone with your database reference will be able to view it. Okay, it doesn't matter. Okay, and select the um, location. So hit ready. It shouldn't take that long. Meanwhile, this is working. Nice. Let's just close this one. And it's taking a little bit. So what can I? Okay, so actually this is just it for that. We will be using later view X, which is the state management, something like Redux for React. But right now, uh, we're going to build the same project, except that it's going to be handled with a view X. Okay. So don't worry too much about that. Okay. We already have this. Okay. And um, we don't need to set anything else, I think. The storage. We will need to. Uh, set the storage start. I haven't worked with a uh, Firebase in 
a lot, okay? I have been working with um, MongoDB, mostly, with Node.js. So, okay, this one is set. So, um, I might forget one or two things about this, but we will get through as we usually do. If we need to search for something, we will. So, everything is set in this case. And a database is set. We're not going to use authentication. Authentication in this case is um, it's not out of the scope because we could do that. But let's just first get started with what Vue.js is and then tackle the rest of the things which should be JSON Web Token or this specific um, authentication with Firebase. So don't worry too much about that. We're just going to um, move a step by a step and um, just to make everything um, you know the the structure the base to build a firm base so we can just move to the rest of the things so okay so that's that's it we have our project so let's go to okay no is this um, project configuration we should have this one okay so in this case we will need to add a new Firebase application so this is something that they added a quite a long time well not a long time kind of a year i think so forget about this no i don't want hosting in this case it can be said okay no 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 okay sorry so this is going to be a view youtube something like that Register application and this is going to give us the um, specific settings that we require in order to connect to this. Okay, so we're going to leave that there. And once this is done, we should have. So let's see, let's take a look inside this. Okay, it's building. So um, that's it for this, I think. Um, this should finish and we should have our application. So let me just show you what I have here. So we should have our um, source and public and all this inside our folder after it's done. So this is the final project, the view Firebase. Okay. So this is going to be it for this one. And we will continue after this is done on the next part.